Welcome to Cool Happenings. Everything I find cool and amazing. Your one-stop channel for all your accessible tech solutions. Hey there. Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Hi, Microsoft removed the ability from its Edge browser to read EPUB or the EPUB electronic publishing book format sometime in April last year. So since then, Microsoft has uh, announced that we should download an EPUB, EPUB uh, reading application for me, the Microsoft Store. But in this demo, I'll show you how you may, with little effort, read any e-publishing or e-pub book on any browser on Windows without much effort. So let's proceed. To read any EPUB book from any browser on your Windows PC or laptop, you need to do the following. First, locate or find any of your EPUB. EPUB, as I mentioned earlier, stands for e-publishing. EPUB is the most common form of e-books out there in the in the internet okay so to read epub books on any browser first locate the book so i'm going to find an epub book here i have in my books folder and expanded books one of three go into books Books info, preview, level 1, this PC not selected, expanded, 4 of 6, items view list, vampire, blood, curtis, and romance, 14 books, various authors, blue layout, but not selected, 1 of 3, preview, level 2, downloads, collapse, 4 of 11. So I have a few books that I've put especially for this demo, so let's look at, uh, I believe it's the second book, the first book is about vampires, if you are a vampire fan, then you go ahead, but I will demonstrate on another book. Items view list, better dot life dot publishers dot bitcoin dot beginner dot a dot step dot i dot step dot guy dot the dot i and dot selling dot and dot investing dot and dot bitcoins dot tech dot twenty thirteen dot epub two or three. Now this is an epub format book. It's a book on bitcoins which I very much like. Now to read the book in any browser you need to first do the following changes. First edit the extension from epub I repeat, edit the book extension from .epub to .zip. So let's do it. You can press F2 to open the edit dialog box. So let's press F2. Now go to the end of the file. You can press Control right arrow. E, e, U, e, Delete the word EPUB. E, just backspace. U, e, e, and type zip. Z. I. E. Press enter. Rename dialog if you change your file name extension. The file might become a user. You will we'll get a pop up alert asking if you really want to rename the book. Just hit enter on yes. Just hit enter and the book will be re renamed to the title dot zip. So now it's, if you see it's zip. It's a zip file now. So step step one, rename the file extension to dot zip. 
step two, unzip the folder. So you can either press uh, Shift F10 or just hit the application key. Uh, like what I'll do right now, I'll hit the applica press application key Context menu. and I'll unzip it using any unzip software on your laptop or PC. I will use the software 7Z so Name is via open with 10 with the run of mistake ownership 7Zip sub menu 7 open archive low Open archive extract 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 the better top life top publisher stop bitcoin top puts window items view list better top Now the key point is to first rename the extension to dot zip step 2 unzip the folder now you should find the unzip uh, folder in your in my case in my books folder so let's let me get to the book title again. B Bitcoin dot B better dot life dot publisher dot Bitcoin dot beginner dot A dot step dot I dot step dot guy dot the dot I and dot selling dot and dot investing dot and dot Bitcoin dot tech dot twenty thirteen one four. Okay, so that's the unzip. You first you know once you unzip it, you'll find the unzip folder in the for wherever you put your your uh, book, it'll be there. So go into the folder right now. So let's go into this unzip folder. Now uh, here you will find three different files, so let's go through each of them. You need to locate the file or the folder called the either text or HTML. Items view list, meta INF2 of 9, images 1 of 9. There's images, meta INF2 of 9, meta INF, text 3 of 9. There's text. Content dot up four of nine. This content. Mine type five of nine. Page styles dot css six of nine. Style sheet dot css seven of template dot xhtm top dot ncx nine of nine. So there. What you do is you go to where it says text. Template slash page mine type content text three of nine. Hit enter on text. Text window, items view list, part zero 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 dot html not selected one of one. Preview, downloads, collapse. Now, there may be two conditions after, uh, after unzipping and going into the unzip folder. You may find a folder called OEBS, which is OEDBS or OEBS, it's a folder. Or you may find something like this, just text, a folder named text. So in either way, go into the folder of either text or OEBS, I'll show you later. So now I, since I found the folder called text, so there is no OEBS folder here. So we go into text and then you get all these many little portions of text files. Selected. Date modified, edit 11, part 0000, zero, zero, zero dot HTML 101. Is part zero 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 HTML. So in the end, you still get the HTML file. So now, whatever browser you are set as your default browser, you will be able to open this HTML file. So in this case, I have set Mozilla Firefox as my default browser. So since I've set Firefox, if I hit enter, this file will open in Mozilla Firefox. So let's hit enter here. The title is a date modified type edit Firefox HTML document read only type. As you can see, every day mentions it's a Firefox file because I set Firefox as my default browser. So now we go to the title. Date mod part 0000.html101. You just get part 0000. Hit enter here. It will open in Firefox. Unknown, unknown Mozilla Firefox, unknown document, table of contents. Now you see, you immediately get to the book. The book now opens in Firefox. Now what you do is just uh, hit the down arrow key. Length, link introduction. So you get all the, the entire book will be in the form of a list where hitting enter will open the, the list, the each of the titles in the list. So let's arrow down. So there's introduction. Link what is Bitcoin? What is Bitcoin? Link Bitcoin as a currency. Bitcoin as a currency. Link Bitcoin as a payment system. Solving so, the double spend problem. To demonstrate, I'll hit go to introduction. Link Bitcoin. Link what is it? Link introduction. Hit enter on introduction. Or press enter on introduction. Introduction. 
Now, once you hit enter, then the server will end and read the book as you normally do on any app or any software on your Windows, laptop, or PC. Throughout history, the primary method of communicating with someone over long distances was sending a letter. This could take days, weeks, even months with no guarantee the letter arrived at all. Even then, it was only one way communication for a conversation that. So that's how you can read the book after performing this uh, thread to changes. Read a book. Uh, no, on any browser, on your PC or laptop. Now to go back to the main screen, just hit Alt, Alternate Key, Alt, Left Arrow. Press and hold Alternate Key and hit the Press Left Arrow. So you press and hold Alt Key with Left Arrow. Go to the table of Contents. Name. So then you're back to the main screen. Then you can go to the next chapter. You see, introduction, what is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is so hitting enter will take you to, to the particular chapter in the book. So that's how you can do it. Now, in, for, in some instances, you may not get text file after unzipping the folder. In that case, let me demonstrate on another book. So for that, um, I'd have to go back to the, to the book folder. So let's in the books folder, so now for the second condition situation or possible condition you may receive once unzipping the folder, I will select the second book. Presenter. Vampire Blood. There are 14 books in this uh, series of vampire um, uh, short novels, I guess. So, this is the same thing. Zip the change the file extension from EPUB to dot from dot EPUB to dot zip ZIP. So let's do it right now. Bitten can fault stop. Fault stop EPUB. Bitten can fault E. U. P. U. P. Lang. Backspace. Hit backspace a couple of times. Delete EPUB and type zip. P. U. P. E. Now type zip. Z. I. P. Rename dialog. If you change your file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes, but no plus Y. You get the pop up alert, the notification, just hit on yes. Vampire Blood Curtis and Romance. 14 books. Various authors who may have a window. I don't feel this. Fit and Ken Fault Stop Zip 1 of 14. Now it's been changed to zip. Step 2 unzip the folder. Any method you use to unzip or uncompress, zip or compress folders, I'll uh, press application and use 7z to unzip this zip uh, file. Context menu, play with the open with edit with run as a take on the 7 zips up, open archive, open our extra extract, extract the bitten kin folks, vampire blood curtis and romance, port. Uh, navigate to the book, the folder in this case is has been, the folder has been unzipped, so navigate to the book title, which would be now a folder. B, bitten can fault one of 15. You see now it's a, it's a folder. Date mod type edit file folder read only type. So go into the folder. Date mod bitten can fault one of 15. Bitten can fault window, items view list, meta inf not selected one of three, preview. And you will get, here in this case you get three folders. Let's see, the first is the meta inf folder. Items view list, oebps two of three. This is the folder you're looking for. O E B P S. O E B P S. O for Oscar, E for Echo, B for Bravo, P for Papa, and S for Sierra. The folder name will be O E B P S. Go into this folder. O E B P S window preview level one. This PC not selected. Expanded four of six. Items view list. Content zero. HTML not selected. One of thirty four. So there are thirty four files in this OEBS, OEBPS folder, you find first contents. I don't feel this. Content, content 0.html 1 of 34. Content 1.html, content 2.html 3 of 34. In this case, they're all called content, so we need to, you know, to um, be a little, uh, well, uh, how should I say, smart, if you may call it. We, do, we should try the first content. It's a HTML file. Content, content 0 .html 134. Content 0 is the uh, number 1, so let's hit enter on this. Open it in uh, Firefox in my case. 
Unknown. Continue Mozilla Firefox. Continue document. Heading level one bitten. So then, let's see if we can read it. Heading level three the blood curtis and series. Yep, it opens and you can read it. Heading level three the blood curtis and series. Heading level three the blood curtis okay. and series. This is only the title, so you cannot go back. So you need to close this file and go to the next file, which is content number two. So let's try it. OEPPS window, items new list, contents. Contents number two. Content one dot HTML two of thirty four. Content one is called content one is the second file. Hit enter. Unknown. Continue Mozilla Firefox. Continue document. Heading level two can false. Let's head over down. Heading level two Michelle Fox. Heading level two Michelle Fox. Heading level two Michelle Fox. Okay, so these are really, really small uh, you know, text within each of the Many small files you find in the OEPPS folder. So in this case, we'll have to close it and go to the next file. OEPPS window. Content 2.html 3 of 34. Content 2 HTML. Press enter. And continue Mozilla Firefox. Continue document. Error down. Link copyright. Link dedication. 1. Link 2. Link Nova. 3. Link Nova. 4. Link Nova. The author. Click also in the Blood Curtis and series. Click continue. Click continue. So that's the end. So we like in this way, we'll have to navigate or access each file within the OEBPS folder to read the entire book. Now I know some people may say it's a little, I know, uh, <laughs> um, troublesome to read each of the files, but it's an option. It's another way of reading EPUB books after Microsoft removed the ability of the Edge browser to read books in the EPUB format. Alright, so I hope this demo is useful. Thank you, all the best and have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.